they don't need to hear the same whistle any longer. They need to hear another whistle. <laughs> There's a new whistle blowing at Leopard Field. After 30 years and 200 victories, Coach Ray Biles took Lorena back to the mountaintop in 2021. At long last, Lorena is a state champion again. Just 13 months after the triumph, Biles hung up his whistle for good. Uh, it's, t it's time. It's time for me to move, and it's good for my wife, my four kids, and my nine grandkids, and I've had a whole lot of more time to invest with them. So uh, while I miss it and my heart hurts in some ways, uh, it was also absolutely the right thing to do. With Biles' legacy spotted all over Leopard Field, whomever was coming in next had big shoes to fill. Every time you lose a, lose a big role like Coach Biles was to our team, I mean, there's a little bit of uncertainty. To, I mean, everybody kind of felt it, even the coaches a little bit. I mean, we we're just all kind of questioning what, will, what was going to happen. Luckily for new head coach Kevin Johnson, a challenge like this is nothing new. He's waited a long time to become a head coach, twice. After injuries cut his college football career short, Johnson turned to coaching as a way to stay in the game. First as a grad assistant at Sam Houston State, then as an assistant at his alma mater, Conley, for nine seasons before being promoted to the head man. Five seasons later, another football journey was cut short for Johnson. He stepped away from the game for something much more important. My wife had some major complications, uh, and during those complications, he had to. Uh, we had to have an emergency C-section, uh, which uh, in the process almost lost both of them. You know, it's just one of those times that you know you got to take care of your family. Family first. That's what I tell everybody here. To keep a steady home life, Johnson strayed away from the game and opted for an administrative position at Lorena, where three years after leaving Conley, he found his way back on the sideline in a smaller role. After years of battling for 3A supremacy in the Waco area, he was now learning under one of his fiercest competitors. We played each other year after year and got to know him uh, over those years and just a great man. And, uh, you know, then when I had an opportunity to come over here and work with him uh, in a different capacity, I mean, I really enjoyed that. Really had a tremendous amount of respect for him, the way he ran the programs. Uh, the thing is he's done with the, the program over at Conley when he was there. I was always thinking, you know, it's a great young guy that's busting his fanny and doing it the right way. But even in his new role as principal, Johnson kept the energy he brought to the football field, albeit in a much different way. He wasn't one of those principals that sat in the office all day. He was in the hall, he was in the classroom, he was out on the field. He was, I mean, very, very active in the lives of those kids. He's a lot different as a coach than he was as a principal. He was straight, real straightforward as a principal and everything, which is, needs to be happening. But as a coach, he's a little more lenient in certain areas and stuff, but we still, he's still hard on us, no, no, that's no joke. Run to the ball! Turn and run when it's thrown! When Biles stepped down in January, Johnson looked at his healthy family and the roots they had in Lorena and was ready to lead a program again. His only condition was he didn't want to change much. The big thing was to try to come in and not rock the boat too much. The best thing is try to come in here and just keep it rolling as best you can. We've kept everything the same. I'll be, you know, everything from our warm-ups to everything here stays the same and nothing's really changed really. To replace such a legend, Johnson has been leaning on an unlikely or maybe the most likely source. Coach Biles and I, we talk all the time. Now, I let him, you know, he's trying to enjoy retirement and do some things, but Coach Biles checks in all the time, makes sure things are good. If I've got questions about something or just you want to pick his brain about something, pick up the phone and we call. Not many coaches get a second wind in their career like Johnson has. Still fewer take on the uphill climb through the coaching totem pole for more than a decade, only to do it all over again. When the season kicked off and Johnson was the one giving the pregame speech, it was the culmination of over 25 seasons and an appreciation of what it took to get there. I still had that itch. I never lost it. It wasn't something like I was ready to walk away from, but there's priorities at times, and then family's a priority. The logos have changed, the years have gone by, and life has changed drastically for Kevin Johnson since taking his first coaching job. He isn't caught up in the shoes he needs to fill. He just wants to keep going. I understand what the expectations are here at Lorena. And my job is to you know, keep those expectations high and to try to do our best to fulfill those expectations. And so I, I don't back down from that at all.